right, so I'm over here at uh, Troy's garage again. And the last time you guys saw this, it was uh, still sheet metal. He hadn't primed it, but it's primed and he's bolted the fenders on and the hood. So we're going to do some wiring on it today. Uh, he's trying to sell this car and one of the hang-ups is people are afraid of wiring. So I'm going to show you we bought a wiring kit. A generic one off of uh, Amazon. Here it is. It's the first time I've seen it. So, yeah. Looks like a decent kit. So we're going to take some time and put some wiring in this thing and I'll bring you along as we go. Got a nice instruction book. So you don't need to be afraid of wiring, it's just positives and negatives. As long as you don't short the positives to the negative and blow your fuse, you should be okay. But a lot of people, it intimidates them, so we'll see if we can't show you how it's done. Okay, so when you're doing a wiring job, one of the first things you want to do is determine where you're going to put the fuse panel and on some of these cars you know you just gotta find a location but you also want to make sure that you put it in a spot where you don't have to add anything to the wiring loom so it can be a little tricky uh, but this is inside the 57 on the driver's side and we're gonna take a minute and locate the where we want to put the uh, the fuse block so once we get that mounted we'll uh, show you that all right so <laughs> there's a definite advantage to buying expensive wiring kits you get better instructions but all in all this isn't bad we've got everything ran uh, up here this is all that no, that doesn't make any <laughs> this is all gauges light switch uh, this is the gauges this is the indicator this is the ignition, ignition heater radio so basically it's all pre-wired now See if I can get you a shot under the dash here. There's the fuse panel, all mounted. All that wire is for the turn signals and and the uh, backup uh, neutral switch and stuff like that. Your horn relay. You have your wiring over here for your dimmer switch. You know so. Everything's labeled. It wouldn't be hard. It's not going to be hard to finish it from here. But this is the part that people freak out about. Hopefully, this will help Troy get it uh, get it sold. So that's wiring a car. Uh, there's a couple things you just like say better instructions. We'll see if we can get a hold of the manufacturer and find out what uh, if we can get some answers on a couple of wires. But there it is.